Hello, I am Usha, a senior cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I am going to show you how to troubleshoot low freeable memory in an Amazon Relational Database service for MySQL compatible edition database. Let's get started. In Amazon RDS for MySQL compatible, memory can be in four statuses. Active, the memory that's actively being consumed by database processes or threads. Buffer, a buffer is a temporary space in memory that's used to hold a block of data. Free memory, the memory that's available for use. Cache, caching is a technique where data is temporarily stored in memory, enabling fast retrieval of data. By default, when you create an Amazon RDS for MySQL instance, buffers and caches are allocated to improve database operations. Amazon RDS for MySQL also has an internal memory component, such as key buffers size or query cache size that creates internal temporary tables to perform certain operations. In Amazon RDS for MySQL, 80% to 90% of the available memory is allocated with the default parameters for optimal performance by design. You can calculate the approximate memory required for your Amazon RDS for MySQL DB instance to start using this calculation as baseline. Memory is allocated for each MySQL thread that's connected to a MySQL DB instance. The following threads require allocated memory. Now let's look at how to monitor the memory usage on the RDS for MySQL instance. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon CloudWatch Console. Choose Metrics, then select the All Metrics option on the left-hand side. Search for the MySQL database and select the Per Database Metrics option. You can see that there are many available metrics that are related to the database. Check the metrics database connections. It's important to note that each connection made to the database needs memory allocated to it. Therefore, a spike in database connections can cause a drop in freeable memory. In Amazon RDS, the soft limit for max connections is calculated like this. Monitor whether you are exceeding this limit by checking the database connections metric from Amazon CloudWatch and comparing with this formula to make sure the instance class is adequately sized for the number of DB connections being made. Another metric to check in Amazon CloudWatch logs is swap usage. Check both the freeable memory and the swap usage CloudWatch metrics to understand the overall memory usage pattern of your RDS DB instance. If you see that a large amount of swap is used and you have low freeable memory, then your instance might be under high memory pressure. High memory pressure affects database performance. It's a best practice to keep memory pressure levels below 95%. You can also use AWS Enhanced Monitoring to monitor the resource utilization on a DB instance. Enhanced Monitoring helps identify CPU and memory utilization by individual processes that run for very short periods of time, even for one second. To turn on the enhanced monitoring for the database, log in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon RDS Console, and select the affected database. Choose Modify Instance and scroll down the monitoring section. Choose the Enable Enhanced Monitoring option and set a granularity of 1 or 5 seconds to capture the most granular information. 
note the default is set to 60 seconds and then choose modify db instance when the modified instance operation is completed, navigate to the CloudWatch console. Under Logs, choose Logs Insights. Select the RDS OS metrics and then choose Run Query to show important information related to CPU, disk I.O. and memory on a granular level. With enhanced monitoring, you can monitor the freeable and active memory in real time. You can also monitor the threads that are consuming maximum CPU and memory by listing the threads for your DB instance. Install the MySQL client and connect to the RDS database. Then map the thread OS ID to the thread ID. To weave all active connections and queries in your database, use the show full process list command from the MySQL client. If you observe a long running query with join or sorts operations, then you must allocate enough RAM for the optimizer to calculate the plan. Also, if you identify a query that needs a temporary table, you must have additional memory to allocate to the table. To weave long running transactions, memory utilization statistics and logs, use the show engine InnoDB status command. Review the output and check the buffer pool and memory entries. The buffer pool and memory entry provides information about memory allocation for InnoDB, such as total memory allocated, internal hash tables, and buffer pool size. The InnoDB status also helps to provide additional information regarding latches, locks, and deadlocks. If your workload often encounters deadlocks, then modify the InnoDB lock weight timeout parameter in your custom parameter group. InnoDB relies on the InnoDB lock weight timeout setting to roll back transactions when a deadlock occurs. You can also turn on performance insights to identify SQL and wait events that are consuming excessive swap or memory on the RDS DB instance. Performance Insights collects the data at the database level and shows the data in the Performance Insights dashboard. Performance Insights can help you troubleshoot database performance related issues. To turn on Performance Insights for the RDS instance, log into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the RDS Console, choose Databases from the left navigation menu and then select the database, choose Modify Instance. Check the box to turn on Performance Insights, choose the Retention Period and AWS KMS Key and submit Modify Instance. After the instance is modified, Navigate to the Amazon RDS console and choose the Performance Insights option on the left-hand side. Choose the database under the drop-down list of databases. You will see valuable information such as database load, top weights, SQL statements, and users along with graphs. You can identify the SQL statements that are high resource consuming and review them for tuning opportunities. Set a CloudWatch alarm for the freeable memory metric so that you receive a notification when available memory reaches 95%. It's a best practice to keep at least 5% of the instance memory free. To create a CloudWatch alarm, 
log into the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the CloudWatch Console. Select Log Groups in the left navigation panel. Set a filter for RDS OS metrics from the list of log groups by selecting RDS OS metrics. Navigate to the Metric Filters tab and then choose Create Metric Filter. Enter the filter pattern to match the RDS instance. From the Select Log Data to Test section, choose the resource ID of your RDS DB instance. Enter the filter name and metric namespace. Enter the metric and create the metric filter to create a custom filter with a specified name and reports for the enhanced monitoring data in a CloudWatch graph. Next, select the metric filter, choose Create Alarm and then create an alarm. Now, create an Amazon Simple Notification Service topic using the email address where you want to receive the alerts. Verify the details and then create the alarm. It's a best practice to regularly upgrade your instance to a more recent minor version of MySQL. Newer minor versions contain improvements and stability fixes that can improve, among other things, memory management. Log into AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon RDS Console, choose the database instance, and then choose Modify Instance. Next, choose Available New Minor Versions and then Upgrade the Database. You can also turn on the Auto Minor Version Upgrade option by using the Modify Database option. Finally, if your freeable memory remains consistently low, you can change your RDS DB instance size to a larger instance size that has more memory by using the Modify Database option. So now you know how to troubleshoot low freeable memory in an Amazon RDS for MySQL database. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.